channel, welcome back to a brand new video. We're doing an Ikea haul. So today we are doing the Ikea haul. Not just a Ikea haul, the Ikea haul. Any of you who have your own house, your own space, your own apartment, whatever, you will know that moment when you either get the chance, like when you're in, the first day you're in, whether you're renting or buying, the first day you're in, you're brand new out of your parents' house or out of wherever you were staying before, and you've got to furnish it, and you do that Ikea trip, this is the trip I'm about to share with you. If you are new to my channel and you have no idea what's going on, hello, my name is Amy, thank you for watching my video. I have been doing a whole moving series where I have just moved as a first time buyer into my dream home. I recorded it all, there is an empty house tour, I've just moved into a beautiful detached four bedroom new build house that is honestly the house of dreams for me and now it's my chance to fill it up. <laughs> So if you do want to join all that excitement, there is a playlist already on my channel called Moving and it's got all the moving vlogs and empty house tour, etc. Also, I do have an Instagram page, my Bella Bambina home, which is fully dedicated to furnishing this place and just getting you guys involved in some indecisions and showing you around and oh, just you being on the journey with me. It's already got such an incredible response, so thank you guys so much. So anyway, you're here to see what I got at Ikea. Now, when I say we've all done that trip, unfortunately we are in lockdown currently still, so I had to do it all online, which is no problem. We went and collected it and I picked it all up. So in this video, I am obviously gonna show you the bits that I picked up, all the bits I can physically hold, and then I will be showing you the big pieces of furniture that I've got because they're all already up in the house. I'm currently looking at two of them. Um, and I will take extra cutaway clips so I can show you what they are, but I will tell you in the video from my order confirmation. So just starting off with some little boring bits, I did pick up three of these um, little curtain rail holders. Um, they're literally, I think, about a pound a piece, and we did pick up three curtain rails, but I think I'm gonna return all of these because now I've come into the house, we've, we bought some really beautiful curtain rails that are chrome from Danelm. Obviously, they're a lot more expensive than these IKEA ones. They're an incredible value for many if you just need a rail. Um, but I think we're gonna just return these and go for that. But they, the curtain rail and this, I think it was like five pounds to get a whole curtain rail, and they were long ones as well, so. I just sometimes I don't get how Ikea do these prices. Next we picked up a very essential cheese grater. This is what I like to call Parmesan cheese grater because it's just good when you've got your pasta and you quickly want to put it over. I must admit these are all really good quality. So this was five pounds. So not the cheapest, but if it's good quality, it's all good. Next we picked up a sieve. This was just two pounds. Sorry if I look down, I've got my order confirmation there, but this was just two pounds. We then picked up this massive colander, which looks really, really good. And this was five pounds, but it is huge. But this is perfect for like pasta when you just need to drain it. It's got a really good handle too. So instead of getting like the massive colander out, it does feel just like a sieve. For the curtain rails, I then picked up three packs of these like net curtains but again i think i might send these back these were amazing value i'm pretty sure these were like two pound fifty each sorry no they were three pounds a piece because i picked up two in one order a third in another so yeah i don't know if i'm gonna be using these yet we may use one set because i really like it i think i might use it in my beauty room um but i'm probably gonna return a couple i just i just wanted to be safe you know because we couldn't go in the store i thought i could always return them but we can't return it till it opens <laughs> Can you go to Ikea without picking up these really great, these are probably the best Ziploc bags you can buy. These are £2.50 for a pack and you get, I don't even know how many in there, but you get loads. There's a 2.5 litre and a three quarter bag. They're great. And they're grey and white, which go with my theme. Next, I got myself a little eucalyptus plant. I absolutely love this. I think it is so great. Ikea's pla fake plants are actually really good. So I picked this one up and then to go with it, because obviously we can't be having a black pot, I picked up this really beautiful ceramic, um, it's called a charafon uh, plant pot. And obviously that's gonna be going in there. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? That is so cute. I'm obsessed. I absolutely, why do things like this, like this make me so excited? So the pot was only three pounds and the plant was seven pounds, but it is a really good quality plant. And obviously it's like eucalyptus style. It's like a faded green, sagey color. It's gonna go so beautiful. I think I'm gonna put this in my office. And to go with it, I picked up this thing, which is called a 
Madigasol. Madigasol. Madigasol? Madigasol. This is a rope, basically, that hangs from the ceiling that you can put your plant in. I'll put a little picture here of it on the IKEA website. Um, but this was so affordable, it was only £4. So, like, the combo of all of this is what? 10, 14 pounds to have a really beautiful hanging plant. I think I'm gonna put this in my office. I'm not too sure yet, but it's just so calming. It just makes me feel so zen. Also, can you do an Ikea shop without getting yourself the Ikea Rat, Rajan, Ratjan, Ratjan spice jars? I'm not gonna stack that up, but I got five sets of these, and for five sets, it was eight pounds 75. Absolutely insane, again, I, ugh. Sticking on the kitchen, I then picked up our mugs for the house. So they are these, of course. These are the glass um, the glass coffee, coffee tea mugs. I've had one of these already for ages that I've been using and I love it. So I got six of them and it was again, it was £8.70, no, £8.75, yeah, for six. Uh, and they're a really nice big mug. Like I, don't, I can't stand the little mug. It needs to be a nice big mug, you know? And then if you are new to my channel, I did just film a B&M slash home bargain, a B&M haul, home bargains haul. I've got, I filmed all of it today. I've been very productive and it's only my first day in this house, so I'm feeling very proud of myself. I picked up this thing, which is a Russell Hobbs like tree, what do they call it? A stainless steel mug tree. So I just love how, oh yes. Oh, oh, that doesn't really hang on that one, but oh well. Okay, this is an accident waiting to happen, but you can see what I'm going for. We've got all the like white chrome and glass theme and cream in this house. Grey cream, glass chrome, that's the kind of vibe we're going for. All light, airy, bright and modern. When I was browsing on Ikea, I couldn't help but get so excited about their vases. Literally, I was buzzing about their vases. So the first one I picked up is this one here. Now, I haven't actually got my Ikea um, order in front of me of this one because this was a separate order I picked up uh, yesterday or the day before so I will just put the price in the screen here so you can see it but I picked up this vase here which actually if you compare it to an iPhone plus I thought it would be bigger um, but it was slightly cheaper than the other ones I'm about to show you so I just thought that would be very minimal and nice I would prefer if it was just clear glass and not black glass but it's absolutely fine because obviously it's still clear so it's more grey I then picked up this one now I didn't want it to be, it was pink, I didn't have a choice, but I am going to be buying some spray paint and I'm going to spray paint this, I think, like a nice stone or a sort of um, taupe or an accru colour because we ain't having pink in this house, but I loved this vase and it's really, really big. I think off by heart this was £7 um, and it's just great. It's a terracotta vase. They usually cost a lot more money and I've got loads of pampas grass and bunny tails and all of that coming. So I think this will look beautiful with a big bouquet in it, but picture it as a nice beige stone color because that's what's gonna happen to it. Two more vases, I know, sorry, but this is probably my favorite one. I've seen, I, I've never seen anybody with this, which is quite exciting, but this is the Ikea, did it say bone china? Never. Oh, made in China. <laughs> Why did I? Why did I think I was gonna get a friggin' seven pound vase that's bone china? So this is called the Stilren, and it was eight pounds, not seven pounds, apologies. But this is probably my favorite vase, or it might be the next one my favorite, but I think this is my favorite. Picture this with massive pampas grass coming out of it, either sat on the floor or sat on the dining table or on a windowsill. I love this. I nearly picked up another one in my second Ikea order, but I was like, Amy, reel it in. You have got so many vases right now, and I'm sure I will find more to buy. Then the final vase, I think, is this one here, which I freaking love. It's gray and dark, but I, I love it. I think, I can't, at this point, I can't remember what I've actually ordered, but I think I've got like a hundred bunny tails coming. I've got a massive bunch of them. And I think that would look quite nice in this, but I'm not sure because it's quite a big opening. I'd rather it be a lot smaller. Um, but I just really like this. And I just can picture this having a big setup, you know, have like all the different heights going on. I then picked up two sets because they were in the Ikea clearance section. The, of these 18 times Bekina tea light candles. I just really liked them because they were rose gold. Can you see that on the edge? Not that we've got rose gold in this house, but I just think as a tea light goes, obviously it's not a lot of color. Uh, I just think it could look quite nice. It looks a lot more expensive than the silver ones. And I think these were on sale for literally £1.70, £1.50, £1.25, even better. 
I then picked up for Andy a lovely waste paper basket. I'm pretty sure this was about five pounds. Okay, and now moving on to glassware. So fair to say I picked up quite a bit. Oh, quickly just, I picked up a microwave cover thing. This is actually really handy and it was a pound, so chuck that in my cart. But for glass, I did get quite a little bit because I am going to be that person that puts and decants everything and labels it because I want my dream kitchen. So we're just going to make it happen when you open the cupboards and it's all perfect and like Pinterest. So if we want that, if we want our dreams, we make them happen, people. So I picked up just this normal airtight jar. This was just a pound, nice and easy. I'm not too sure what's going in this yet, but I just didn't think you could go wrong for a pound. I then picked up two of these. So they were five pounds for two, so two pound fifty a piece. Um, and I thought they were gonna be about this big because I was gonna have them for my olive oil and vinaigrette, but clearly that's not happening. I really don't know what's gonna go in this because we already have a glass milk bottle that we're gonna get that I've got and we basically have like down the road, we've got like a fresh milk thing from the farm so we can go and take our glass bottle and fill it up. Oh, it's gonna be so cute. We also do have normal plastic milk down there but I want to I want to fully embrace my slightly out of Bristol country life and go and get my fresh milk from the farm in my glass bottle so that's the intention whether it actually goes into practice we will see I'm not too sure what to do on these maybe orange juice could be quite nice and maybe like or squash we can make pre-make some squash I'm not too sure if you guys have got any ideas leave me in the comments down below I really appreciate it because I'm not too sure what to do with these I then picked up these which I am so excited for because I'm gonna have my spaghetti and like my tagliatelle in it. <gasps> these are called the Vardagen and they were £2.50 a piece. So cheap and they're airtight which is what I really like. They're not just there for looks, they are tight, airtight containers. So these are gonna be for spaghetti and tagliatelle I think, um, but we'll kind of just see where things end up with them and if I get, might need to get a couple more. But definitely spaghetti in one and I think tagliatelle in the other one would be quite nice. I then picked up more Vardagens or whatever they're called, but these are the big, fatter, shorter ones. These I picked up three of, one, two, and three, as you can see in there. Um, I think I'm gonna use these for like rice and then other pastas, like so penne or fusilli or anything like that. Um, possibly as well, I might get some more and do for flour, self-raising self flour and plain flour. That could look really cute because I have got those labels. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to do the kitchen makeover. I, I'm gonna film that. I think I'm gonna do a full kitchen transformation video because I'm not gonna start doing that anytime soon. This is for sort of down the line, um, like a nice bank holiday I could take to do the kitchen. That'd be so nice. I got three of these and they were £7.50 for three. So they're so affordable. I mean, you'd be paying £7.50 for just one of these in like Asda or something. Actually, I went in Sainsbury's the other day holy macaroni you literally get one of these things for like eight pounds i then just picked up three of the little glass bowls i think three of these were literally only two pound 25 for three these are just really nice again if you're baking you can crack your eggs in this and then put them in or you can portion things out or just have little nibbles in these i'm all about the glass because it also looks really nice and modern but also it's just very minimalistic i like that and then I picked up three of the larger ones. So these three together were only £4.50. And I absolutely love these. They're great for baking. Um, we have got some Pyrex ones as well. We've got a bigger one, bigger Pyrex one, which would be good for baking. But this is also good to like serve into serving, portioning. They're just great. Okay, now moving on to the furniture I purchased at IKEA. So the first piece of furniture I'm actually looking at right now in my front room. It is a sofa. This is called the Ektorp three-seater sofa. We got ours in the color Toboto light beige. Toboto light beige, I think from Ikea. I can't, ex I don't know. Anyway, this is what it looks like. Obviously it's a little bit creased at the moment because it's brand new out of the box. It's gonna take some time. I've got my Lenore crease releaser to spray all over it, but it is an incredible sofa, guys. This sofa was 329 pounds. Absolute bargain. And my goodness, was it the easiest thing to put together? 
I highly recommend. We will also be buying the Ektorp two-seater sofa, which will look exactly the same, but obviously it's a two-seater, and it's actually gonna be going here behind me. So over there, we've got the three-seater, here will be the two-seater. And honestly, you can just, you can get a suite of sofas for just over 600 pounds, and it's absolutely incredible. We weren't going to do an Ikea sofa, we were gonna go to DFS and pick a proper sofa. We put quite a bit of money aside, and we were like, right, let's just do it, get a good quality one. But so many people who we've spoke to have said that the IKEA sofas are actually amazing. And obviously with lockdown, we can't go into DFS, we can't go into SCS and all those places and actually look at sofas. And when you're spending like a grand plus on a sofa, you're not gonna buy it on the computer. You're gonna see it in person. You wanna go double check how it feels and everything. So we don't know when the shops are opening. Then picked up two of the LAC coffee tables, the 90 by 55 cm. These were 34 pounds for two, 17 pounds a piece. And I can't, uh, like they're just, they're just such great stop cap tables. These are genuinely just temporary. We are gonna be getting, I wanna get a really nice feature glass um, coffee table with some nice feature legs and things, but we haven't found the right one yet. So when you're just trying to bridge a gap, these are amazing and for 17 pounds, I mean. The next big piece of furniture that we got is actually our Pax wardrobes. So these are just called Pax wardrobe. And these are the beige colors. So we did end up getting the 200 by 60 by 201. They were 455 pounds. But I thought for that price, actually, if you look at the inside, I'll put a picture here from the IKEA website or the IKEA app. I just love the sections. It's got a couple of drawers, it's got cubby holes, it's got a long section for like dresses and suits, and then it's got your normal rails. And I just thought that that was perfect. It also was beige, so it goes very well with our theme. I believe this is a new color, um, just called light beige. I'm not too sure. I will leave all of, by the way, everything I have bought, I will leave linked in the description. Obviously, it's not affiliated, it's not a sponsorship. I wish. But yeah, we in the, currently while I'm filming this, Andy and his dad are upstairs trying to put this up. So the clip you would have seen is way, way after because right now I reckon it's gonna take a good few hours to put up. There was about 40 boxes, I'm not lying, about 40 boxes to make up this thing. So <laughs> I wish them luck. Oh, I also bought this welcome mat. If you watched the first moving vlog, you would have seen me pick this one up. But this is it outside my house. It just says welcome, and obviously it's a hard mat, so when people come in, they can just wipe everything off their boots before they come in on my lovely new white Antico flooring. And then for now, the final piece of IKEA furniture that I picked up is the Limon table, I believe it's called, um, and I've used it temporarily as a desk. So this is what it looks like. It's just a plain IKEA table. It's 120 centimeters long by 60 meters deep and 72 high, I believe. It's just a temporary desk for me at the moment because the IKEA desk I wanted, um, I don't know if they do anymore, so I have to wait till the store is open to go in. This Limon table was 25 pounds. Incredible. I also thought that once I'm done with it, it's just a plain white table so we can use it when we have garden parties and things like that. You can't really go wrong. So guys, that was everything that I bought on my major IKEA first time buyer house moving new home shop. Um, yeah, it was a pretty, do you know, I've always dreamed about going to IKEA when this happens and taking my car and just chucking everything in. Obviously that couldn't happen because of COVID, but to be honest, like I had just had so much fun. I made myself a cup of tea, I got in my pajamas, I sat in bed, I got my laptop out, and I went to town, clearly as you can see, and bought all of this stuff and we picked it up from Bristol. If you wanna see us picking up the order and if you wanna see how any of these things were packaged, because I know when I was researching the sofa, I was like, oh, I really wish I could see how that comes so I could see if it would fit in the car. I can tell you for now, guys, if you do like the Ektorp three-seater sofa, it ain't fitting in your car. <laughs> But if you do want to see what all the boxes look like and when we picked up our order, I will link the moving vlog number one here. And also, if you do want to watch any of the moving vlogs, if you haven't already, there is a full moving playlist. Also, I do have an empty house tour, which if you would like to watch this after the video, if you haven't watched it, it gives you a good idea of where actually things are gonna go. So guys, it's been a long video, I'm conscious of it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to follow me over on Bella Bambina Home for all the home updates and moving content is on this channel. So do hit the subscribe, hit the thumbs up if you enjoy this sort of content. And obviously turn on that notification bell so you can't miss any of my uploads. And apart from that, guys, that is it, and I will see you all in my next video. Stay safe and stay beautiful. Ciao. Never thought I'd meet someone like you. You know you are the reason. The reason why I feel like I can fly. Think about your day and night. I love it when you kiss me. Love it when we touch. Every
Every time I'm down, yeah, you make me smile. You're the solution.